This podcast is from Morning English. Duck somebody or duck something. Water off a duck's back. Like the animal duck. 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 学口语就来早安英文 Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's Morning English. This is Colin. This is Winter. 欢迎大家收听今天的早安英文 Hey, Colin. Why aren't you answering your phone? Oh, I'm I'm ducking this guy. He wants to borrow money from me. Ducking. Like the animal duck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually,、um, it means actively ignoring someone. Like if you see a duck on the water, and、uh, you know it might very quickly go underwater and out of sight and hide from you. Oh, are there other phrases that use duck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't we talk about them today for today's podcast? Good. We're today, ah, just to talk about duck. 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 今天呢，给大家送个超棒的福利——早安英文会员课程的七天免费体验权限，只有十个名额哦。同时呢，大家也可以加入早安英文的 Telegram 社群，来群里和我们一起交流。社群地址和七天会员的免费领取链接都放在评论区了，欢迎你来。So is duck used as a verb often? Yeah, and actually there are. Different uses of it as a verb. For example, you can、um, duck people, but you can also duck an event or an activity. So, duck somebody or duck something, 就是说我们嗯逃避做某件事情，或者是躲着某个人 ，right?、Yeah. If you don't want to do something, you might duck it. That's right. That's right. He doesn't like Sarah, so he ducked her birthday party. So, what about duck out of something? Ah, yeah, duck out of something. You know that has two meanings. The one you mean here is similar to duck an event or activity. But look, the difference is if you are expected to go to the event or do the activity or not. So if it's expected, you are ducking out of it. That's right. That's、uh, right. If it's unexpected, you are just ducking. Right.、Mm. Yeah. So it's just a you expect to do something. You want to keep it hidden. You say you are. Ducking out of it. That's right. That's right. <laughs> right.、Um, it's his turn to cook, but I bet he'll try to duck out of it. <laughs> John ducks doing the dishes because he hates doing them. Yeah, yeah.、Mm-hmm. But those are not even the most common verb usage of the word duck. What is the common one? Well, it's just saying duck. No.、Yeah. Oh. <laughs> to move your head down. So you don't hit it, right? Well, yes, generally down, but really in any way to avoid being hit, like. In the head. Oh,、so, so. uh, the door frame is low. Make sure you duck your head going through. Right. 嗯、uh, ，比如说这个门有点矮，所以呢，呃，你一定要低下你的头，然后穿过去，对吧 ？Yeah, tall、mm-hmm. people need to do that a lot. Duck your head. Right.、Mm-hmm. But、uh, also, if a ball is going to, you know, if I throw a ball and it's going to hit you in the head, I might just yell duck. If you yell "duck" in a room full of native English speakers, everybody will move their head and cover their heads with their hands because they 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 have no idea who you're talking to. <laughs> 就是如果一屋子都是 native speaker 的话，你大喊 "duck", right? Yeah, yeah. 那些鸭子大喊鸭子的时候，他们就会抱头鼠窜。Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. There are phrases using duck as well. I know the one to have all your ducks in a row. Yes, yes, to have all your ducks in a row means to be, you know, really well prepared for something. So we can say Sarah really has all her ducks in a row for the party, meaning she has done everything that needs to be done for the party. Yeah, yeah,、uh, you know, this is a really positive thing to say about somebody. Yeah, have all your ducks in a row. 把你的这些小鸭子都排成一排。那这个 phrase 呢，其实是说你把事情都安排的井井有条、mm-hmm. ，right？ 规划的非常好，准备的非常充足。And another one I know about duck is water of a duck's back. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one.、Um, ducks are water birds, so water just kind of slides off their backs. The water doesn't penetrate their feathers into their body, so we use the phrase "like water off a duck's back" when someone is able to not let a bad situation or, more commonly, an insult bother them. Right. 这句话呢，其实大家应该很耳熟，就是当耳边风。对吧、mm-hmm. ？Right， 其实就是说你说的那个话，就像水然后流过鸭子背一样
顺着他背上的那个流线型就流走了。没有留在他身上，对吧？就像别人说的一些话一样，就是直接你当耳旁风，就让他过去了。Because it doesn't get to you, it doesn't make you upset. Just like the water doesn't get to the dog. That's right, exactly. Another good one is to take to something like a duck to water. That's when you learn or are good at something very quickly. Yes,、mm -hmm. yes. The idea is that it it seems very natural for them to do it. He took to riding like a duck to water. 就是他。学会骑车啊，很快就学会了，对吧？就是 like a duck to water， 像鸭子入水般容易，就是说轻而易举，毫不困难，就是非常迅速的去学会某件事情。Yeah, and it can also be used for other things other than actions. For example, places. She took to Beijing like a duck to water, meaning she did very well or enjoyed Beijing very much. How about people? Can we say? She took to him like a duck to water. Yes, she got along with him very well. She took to him like a duck to water. 就是说呢，他们俩相处的非常好。他呢，这个女他 she 就特别轻松的，特别容易的就把男他 he 把这个人呢给给交下了，对吧？相处的非常好。Yeah, that's right. Oh, and there's one last one I'd like to mention. You're a dead duck. A dead duck. It's like I'm going to kill you. Oh, but of course, it's much more mild and playful. If you ever duck my calls, you are a dead duck. Okay, okay, okay. Calm down. I won't duck your calls. <laughs> dead duck, 不是说死鸭子啊，它是指呢，就是注定已经要失败了的一个计划或者是一件事情。当然，像我刚刚举的这个例句里面啊，如果你嗯不接我电话，如果你逃避我的电话 ，you are a dead duck， 就是说，那你就要完蛋了，你就是这个马上要完蛋的人。<笑> right? It's a warning. Yep. 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 Well, that's all for today. 是的，今天这期节目呢，我们就讲到了很多很可爱的跟 duck 有关的一些表达。今天的节目就到这里了，大家别忘了去评论区领取我们的福利。早安英文会员课程的七天免费试听名额，只有十个，先到先得。最后，大家如果想加入我们的听众群，也可以在评论区置顶找到我们的 Telegram 社群地址，欢迎你来玩。